In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a step-by-step ebook in minutes, which you can then sell as a digital product. Just take a look at this ebook that I made in minutes using the tool I'm about to introduce. I wanted to make a step-by-step ebook on the subject of how to start your first website. And this ebook contains a whopping 91 steps. The best part is the tool automatically records every single action in the process, as well as providing descriptions and capturing screenshots, even with annotations as you can see. All you need to do is run through the process as you normally would and let the tool handle the rest. This way you'll have more time to focus on growing your business and making sales rather than spending hours if not days manually creating your ebook. Let me show you exactly what this tool is and how you can go about creating a professional ebook. All right, so first things first, you'll need a tool called Scribe. Link to Scribe will be in the description box below so go check it out and go directly there. As stated on their website, Scribe will allow you to turn any process into a step-by-step -step guide instantly. This could be of the use of onboarding new hires, creating SOPs, building training documents, answering questions, assisting customers, or if you're like me who creates eBooks and guides, then you may wanna create an eBook using Scribe so that you can capture those screenshots quickly and easily so that you can stop wasting time doing that all manually. Scribe is useful for a multitude of people, whether you're an educator, a coach, a marketer, someone who works with a team, a course creator, or someone who simply wants to create step-by-step -step guides to explain a certain process in a step-by-step -step format and one that's clear and concise. To get started, simply sign up for free. Next, what you wanna do is install the browser extension. Now it works on Chrome and also Edge at the time of this recording. So that's all you need to do. We'll click on start capture once you reach this page and then install the browser extension. A handy tip is to pin the scribe tool so you can go and access it at any time whenever you wanna create a guide. So. On Chrome, simply click on extensions, look for Scribe and pin it, and you'll see it on the toolbar right here. Now that you've got Scribe installed, let me show you how to create your first guide using Scribe. The first thing you wanna do before you start capturing is to go to the website that you wanna capture. So for instance, I wanna create a guide on how to create a presentation in Canva and we'll demonstrate that right here. So I'll head to canva.com and now I'm ready and I've got my window opened. Once you're ready, go and click on the Scribe extension and click on Start Capture. Now it says now capturing your browser. On the left, you'll see the scribe toolbar, which is used so that you can control what you're actually capturing. So let's say you do wanna pause a particular uh, part of your capturing and creating of the guide, you can do so. You can also complete it, which will also go and actually use. There's a pro feature called Smart Blur, which will bring up some redacting and features like that. So you can blur out things like email addresses, numbers, and essentially sensitive information. But it is available on the pro plan only, which we'll also run through. So we'll go through pricing and plans later on. You can move the actual controls somewhere else, or you can delete the scribe and start again. So we'll go ahead and start the process. At the search bar, what I'm going to do is search for presentation. So that's the first thing I wanna do. So type presentation, and that will actually be the first step. So the second step will then be clicking on the next action, so which is presentation. As a note, Scribe will record the things you type and the things you click on and what you do, basically every single action. I'll continue on. And let's say we want to create a blank presentation, which I want to show them how to do. Now we've got the blank presentation opened. We can select design, which will bring up all the templates. And let's say we'll click on this social media marketing presentation. We'll click that once and then apply all 10 templates to the canvas. And let's finish this off by clicking on share and we'll go download, download as a PDF and click on download again. And that will be the end of our guide. So once you are done and completed with your actual process and tasks, go back to your scribe control, click it, and then we're going to click on complete capture. 
Scribe will then show the finished result. And this is where we can go and fine tune, edit and play around with some of these steps. So if you do want to edit things like the actual description of the step, you can do so by clicking once and then editing it out. So click the use five plus words to describe. I don't want to say that. I just want to say, click the search field. All right, which is this right here. And that's what I want uh, to say. So next we've got double click the, uh, you know, this should be the search field once again. So it is very specific and detailed in that way, which is good. But at the same time, if you don't want to be that detailed, then you can very well edit the text. But as you can tell, it's taken the screenshots, it's taken where my mouse was hovering and clicking on. It's very clear and the actual images are very high quality. You can see the quality right there. This guide in particular has about 13 steps. Now from here, I wanna show you how to then edit your guide. I did show you how to edit some of the text already, but let's go through and play around with some of the other settings. Editing on Scribe is really easy to use because what you see is what you can edit. So right here is what I can edit, navigate to, as I showed before how you can edit text, you can do so. If you do wanna, let's say, move a particular step somewhere else, let's say this is meant to be, step two instead of one, we can drag it so that it is step two instead and there we go. But the steps are actually in the right order so there's no need to move it. If there was a step that was skipped, you can always add it in by clicking on plus on any of the steps before or after the step. We'll click once and you'll see a step or you can add a tip. So let's say tip make sure to do this, whatever it may be. So that's a pretty handy thing you could also do anywhere in between. We've also got alerts. Uh, you can capture once again, you can add headers to break it up or a GIF. On the actual images, what you can do is zoom out if you feel that Scribe automatically zoomed in too much, uh, or you can zoom it in even more to make it more clear. Looking at any of the steps, you'll see more options. This will bring up more options such as deleting the step or you can copy the step as a link and then provide that link so that whenever someone goes to that link, it will take them directly to that actual step. So let's say you've got a hundred steps and you wanna point to a particular step, you can simply click on copy link to step and that's what that's for. Let me demonstrate capturing a step that you may have forgotten. So let's go ahead and click on plus where you want to add that missing step. Let's say right here and we'll click on capture and it says capture more steps and we'll click on start capture. All right, so we'll go back to our Canva template, which is right here. And let's say I want to edit the title, which is one of the missing steps. I'll just put in here the missing thing that I wanted, which is 101, expand this, move it. And then what I'll do is stop the capture. I'll click on complete capture. And now it's added the missing steps. So as you saw, I added the 101 to the heading and you see type 101 right here. And it goes on until I actually completed that task. On the pro plan, you can make adjustments to it. So you can actually edit the screenshot and do things like annotate. You can crop and move it. A few other options on the right side window, we've got step actions where you can combine particular steps, copy the steps. You can magically merge them using AI. There's customization too for pro users. Things such as changing the click target color, as well as showing the author, step count, creation time, and more. But let's say you're done editing your scribe. All you need to do is click on done editing. And to share or export your guide, all you need to do is click on share. And the first thing you can do is share with people so you can invite others. You can change your sharing options to not shared, shared with your own team, or shareable with a link. So that way it can be hosted on Scribe. So if you copy the link, it will take anyone with that link to the page with a guide. 
You've also got smart embed options where you can embed it on your website, such as on WordPress or on Webflow and so on and so forth. We've got the embed snippet otherwise where you can just simply copy and paste it to your website. A few export options, one being PDF. So if you do have a Scribe free account, you can export it as a PDF. However, there will be a Scribe watermark. So if I click on export, this will generate the file. And here's the guide in PDF format. You'll see the Scribe watermark right there. So the rest of the pages do not have it except on the photo where it says made with Scribe. The other export options include HTML, Markdown and Confluence. So these are all pro options only. One of the things you're probably thinking is, can you capture outside of your browser? Well, the answer is yes, Scribe makes it available. However, you do need a pro plan, which will allow you to capture your desktop and any apps that are running on your computer. So if you're serious about creating guides, docs and eBooks, then consider the pro plan and I'll run through some of its highlights and features. So one being of course the desktop app and you're able to capture outside of your browser, which can be extremely handy. You'll see the desktop app installed and it works like the extension where you click on start capture and then you run through your process. Another benefit of the pro feature is that it has a screenshot editor where you can upload your own screenshot and then add annotations and crop and do all sorts of things like that. You're given more export options as well and customization options when you're actually editing your process and guide, you're given more flexibility with adding your custom logo. You can select and click different target colors, removing Scribe's branding, so on and so forth. And a neat little perk of the pro is that you can create guides based on mobile processes. So on your mobile phone, Pro plan starts from $23 per seat per month based on annual billing and you get all the benefits that I just explained. If you scroll down, you'll see a full comparison of basic versus pro and enterprise. But like I said, the biggest difference I see is the capturing of desktop processes. So if you want that extra feature, then the pro plan is for you. All right, and there you have it. The next time you're thinking about creating a step-by-step -step guide or ebook, why not whip out Scribe, click that start capturing button and let Scribe capture every single one of the steps in your process. So that way you can focus less on explaining and more time actually growing your business and building that audience. Link to Scribe will be in the description box below so you can go directly to there and sign up. I'd love to know what guide you'll be creating using Scribe. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching to the end and do watch these next relevant videos.